this part is over. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. I sense much fear in you. Welcome to the Cave of Wonders, Dreamwalkers. I am your Sith Lord, Callus, and this is the Rancor Report, where we bring you what's trending in pop culture, gaming, and Star Wars news, reviews, theories, and clues. With Episode 9 a little less than a year away, let's talk about the possibility of a Jedi Finn and his inclination to the Force. So stay with me, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications to be made aware of future content. Now let's do this! Sensing the future, Anakin. The fear of loss is a path to the dark side. I won't let these visions come true, Master Yoda. Death is a natural part of life. Rejoice for those around you who transform into the Force. Mourn them do not. Miss them do not. Attachment leads to jealousy. The shadow of greed, that is. What must I do, Master Yoda? Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Now, whether you agree or disagree is completely up to you, and I don't fault you for whatever side of the fence you land on, but in my opinion, J.J. Abrams was clearly alluding to the Force sensitivity of Finn in Episode 7. The Force Awakens. I have a video detailing the reasons why I believe this and I'll I'll link it in the description okay and if you disagree with me that's okay too just let me know why in the comments but nowhere in episode 8 The Last Jedi is Finn's sensitivity evident. All of the foreshadowing and indicators are completely disregarded from episode 7 The Force Awakens. And now with J.J. helming episode 9, I really hope that he has chosen to revisit those story points and we get to see a force-wielding Finn on the big screen for this final installment of the Skywalker Saga. So let's say Will Smith, the genie, grants me my Star Wars wish. What does a force-sensitive Finn look like? Well, first, let's use the book Before the Awakening as a reference. Finn was a squad leader, a weapons expert. But most of all, he was honorable, which inclines him more to the light side of the Force. But then, all of that changed in the very beginning of Episode 7, when we suspect the Force actually awakening inside of him. He becomes fearful, impulsive, and even angry. He naturally connects to his emotions, contrary to his training as a stormtrooper, which is all he's ever known for his entire life. And we know emotions are driven by passion, which is forbidden for the Jedi. But emotion, passion, that's fuel for the dark side. It's embraced by its users. So if Finn is in fact force sensitive and he does undergo Jedi training, whether it be, whether it be by Rey or Luke's force apparition, will he be able to control his fear? Will he be able to quell his anger? Because whether you agree or disagree, there was a connection between Rey and Finn that transcended both movies, Episode 7 and Episode 8. An attachment that Finn was ready to sacrifice his life for. Love, be it friendship or romantic. And we know of one other light side user willing to do the same. And his fate was tragic. 
But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for listening, and if you haven't already, subscribe to hear more of my crazy ass theories. We also do news, reviews, and other good stuff, gaming and Star Wars related on this channel. So join the Dreamwalkers on our journey. Thank you all to my subscribers and everyone listening. I hope you all have a safe and happy holiday. We do what we love, and I hope you love what we do. This has been the Rancor Report. Until next time. This party's over.